it in the other team news to tell us today, Laurie, or was it all settled yesterday? No, it was all settled yesterday. Um, uh, obviously, uh, Dukes woke up yesterday morning and um, shocked us all. Um, he just didn't feel as though he'd be right to play, so uh, Josh came in um, and uh, he's an experienced guy, which we need, um, especially given the preparation. So, not ideal, but it's one we've had to uh, put up with. Does anyone see it coming, Laurie? It looked as though, and it sounds as though it shocked you all that Dukes came and saw you and said, I've got a problem. Yeah, well, uh, no one knew. Um, uh, after after Saturday's training session, everyone thought everything was okay. He'd been doing contact on Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, he said he just woke up on Sunday with a bit of swelling and didn't feel confident that he could get the job done. Um, he didn't want to let the boys down, um, and uh, he thought it'd be the best interest to to uh, to not play. So uh, that's how it sort of all unfolded. Everyone was taken aback by it, but um, you know we we support his decision because he put the team first and. He didn't feel confident, so um, that's when we had to had to make the decision. Des Hasler's had a fair crack. Did that surprise you? Oh, look, I think um, you know everyone respects Des's um, opinion. Um, uh, you know, I think you know obviously very frustrated, and, and everyone can understand that. You know, to take a player off in the day of the game is, is not ideal. Uh, it wasn't ideal for us to lose Dukes, um, and unfortunately, um, that's the way it sort of panned out. Was he a fair crack? Your medical staff they have been around a long time. Oh, as I said, uh, that's um, I know what my medical staff can do, and, and they're great people, and some of the best medical staff in the business. But um, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Was he out of line? Who's that? Oh, that's up for Des. I mean, for me, um, I'm only here to, to worry about my medical people, and also um, the game on on Wednesday night. So. Um, you know, my focus is on preparing the team and getting them in the best possible shape as we possibly can to go out there and play well. It's, it's, origin. it's led to the debate about Origin. Origin's become a beast, right? It's become such a massive event, whether it needs a standalone weekend. Where do you stand with that, Laurie? Oh, look, I think that's for a, another day. I, I really haven't got a strong opinion either way. Um, as I said, um, you know, my, I, I've just got to focus on getting this team ready. I, I can't worry about, you know, what what an ideal sort of situation is. Um, you know, that'll be the powers that be. Um, but all I know is that, you know, we've had had some really good training sessions in good weather. <laughs> now we're back here in Sydney, it's a bit chilly, but uh, the guys are really looking forward to the game. Is Origin more important than NRL um, games at this time of the year? Uh, in terms of... In terms of um, the comments from De Des, do you think that Origin at this time of the year is way more important than NRL games? Des said the NRL's become second tier. Oh, right. Origin. Yeah. Um, oh, look, that's, again, that's not for me to, to comment on. All I know is that um, I think State of Origin is the number one, two, and three rated programs in Australia every year. Um, so it's massive. Um, you know, it's not up to me to decide whether, you know, it's, it's number one or the NRL is number one. All I do is coach this team and try and prepare them as best I possibly can and and um, hopefully um, they play well on Wednesday night. What's Josh like because it must have been hard you know he got cut now he's like being brought back in is, is he pumped or? Yeah it's not the not the ideal preparation um, and uh, I, I sort of said that to him I said sorry <laughs> you know um, yeah, it's not, it's not the, the best way to do it but um, you know no one saw what happened coming and, and that's what happens so um, but again you know you just got to prepare well he actually told me when he um, when he played his first origin uh, that's how it sort of unfolded he was in a similar situation he was called up the day of the game so um, it's funny how things work. Is one training session enough for him on that right edge? Yeah well he trained um, Wednesday Thursday and then um, he, he missed uh, missed the weekend sessions but um, yeah, he'll he'll have a run tomorrow, and then um, so that that'll be enough. I mean, he's he's been with us now for four or five years. Nothing sort of changes, so uh, he knows his role pretty well. A lot of the Queenslanders were saying that his omission was probably the biggest tactical mistake. Obviously, the way he has gone up against Greg Inglis the last few years does that make you even stronger then that he's up against GR? Oh, look, I think that uh, he certainly brings plenty of experience to our team, and um, you know he's a great talker, a good leader. Um, and we'll need that on Wednesday. Cameron Smith just had a press conference in Queensland saying that, um, that they won't be um, targeting Josh Reynolds, but they'll be paying him special Adam. attention. Uh, Adam. 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 Yeah. Sorry, yes, Adam. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, but I think Adam um, will be ready for that. Uh, I think Adam's, you know, won a grand final. Um, 
you know, I, I don't think uh, anyone will get under his skin, put it that way. Yeah. What did you see from um, Adam and James in uh, training camp? Laurie, you're now confident you've made the right choice with your halves? Yeah, I think um, uh, Adam's certainly a real calm customer. Uh, Jimmy's Jimmy. Um, you know, he's a, he's a guy that, uh, that uh, you know, can lead the team and, and uh, give us plenty of direction. Um, but Adam's got a wonderful kicking game. We know he's going to be put under all sorts of pressure. Like when you play your first Origin game, um, you expect it. So, you know, Matty Moreland's expecting it. Josh Mansour's expecting it. Um, Adam Reynolds is expecting it. Um, so, who knows? There might be someone in the Queensland team we might uh, target ourselves. Could they want to tell us who that would be? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. You this just say anything controversial. <laughs> this, this is important for you, though. You, you've got two games at home this year. You won the series in 2014. Winning at home is really important. Like, game one, there's a lot on the line. Oh, look, I think um, for us, we just want to give a better performance than what we did in, in game game three last year. Um, you know, we're all disappointed with that. We're all embarrassed by it. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a new series, new team. Um, you know, we, we, we just want to focus in on playing well. And if we play well, get a result, um, that, that'd be great. But, but I know that we'll be better as the series goes on. Um, but, you know, winning your home games is very important. So, we, you know... 70, 80,000 people will turn up expecting us to play well, and we're going to do that. You just mentioned, obviously, identifying weaknesses in their side. Justin O'Neill and Dan Gagai are probably on their right edge have been questioned defensively over the past few weeks. I mean, are they guys that you might look at? No, I think um, O'Neill's won a comp with um, with the Cowboys and, and probably uh, was going to be selected as a centre regardless of who was there or not. And uh, Dane Gagai, um, I think we all can remember what he did to us in game three last year. He was outstanding and I think he ran over, over 100 metres and was dangerous every time he got the ball. Might have scored a try. Um, so our guys are well aware what that they can do on that side. So uh, we've got to be on guard for them. Let's talk their shopping origin around again like a game to take maybe to New Zealand or overseas should origin I know they've got the Melbourne deal is, is that as far as it should go uh, again Jen I I wouldn't have a clue to be honest with you <laughs> I haven't really you know, thought too much about that I've just been getting the team ready for this game and, and seeing how we go what are you making of the daily debate over Cooper Cronk's fitness will he play will oh he... sorry yeah 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 um, oh, to be honest with you mate we haven't Really, I only found out yesterday, and then um, yeah, he'll be there. He'll be there. So, um, and even if, if he's not there, um, they bring a guy in like Michael Morgan. Uh, he's a pretty fair player. Looks like it'll be a heavy track on Wednesday. Will that help you guys? Uh, don't know. Um, you know, I think uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna play in all conditions, obviously. But you know, hopefully, um, you know, you're gonna hold the ball in, in wet conditions and. And um, you know if we can do that, um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll play well. If Cronk does drop out, it looks like Jacob Lilliman will jump onto what will be four forwards on a bench. You guys have got three big guys. Is that fairly predictable? Um, yeah. I, to be honest with you, I haven't really looked at it, but I, I know that um, you know we've got a big bench, and um, we'll be using those big guys, um, and we'll need those big guys. Laurie, um, have got a big bench. One of those guys is Andrew Cafita. His twin brother's been given some leave from Cronulla. Have you, has Andrew had to be looked after a bit here? Uh, no, I didn't Didn't know. What's the... He's gone. He's been given two weeks leave of absence to go to the UK and be with another relative. Oh, has he? Oh, it's right. a private battle, but it's oh, right. considering yep. they're very close yep, yep, to yep, twins, yep. maybe Andrew had something. No, like mate, I haven't, haven't um, okay. had any yarn to him. I, I didn't know. They keep on saying north of the border that uh, you guys are favourites. What do you think? Oh, look, it doesn't matter whether you're favourites or not, you just got to go out and play well, uh, regardless. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't doesn't phase me one way or the other. All I know is that you're still going to go out and play well, and, and that's what we're aiming to do.